The LCHA's MK1A started its maiden flight trials in the first week of May. from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The LCA MK1A is an upgraded version of the LCA MK1 that reached full operational capability in 2020 and it will serve as a testbed aircraft for the production line of MK1 as currently the Indian Air Force IF operates 40 TAYAS MK1 aircraft. In January 2021, the IAF awarded HAL a contract worth $6.07 billion for 73 TAYAS MK-1A fighter aircraft and 10 LCA TAYAS MK-1 trainer aircraft. The IAF was reportedly unhappy with the LCA MK-1 as it did not meet its operational requirement. Therefore, MK-1A program aims to improve the TAYAS LCA's operational capabilities based on the feedback from the IAF. Among the shortcomings IAF pointed out in the MK-1 were increased weight and reduced speed, which adversely affected the aircraft's performance. The new MK-1A will feature better composites to reduce the airframe weight and an increased number of aerodynamic pylons to reduce the supersonic drag. The LCA MK-1 was also deficient in electronic warfare U capabilities as there were performance issues with the radar warning receiver and countermeasure dispensing system CMDS. The IF wanted a self-protection jammer SPJ, for electronic countermeasures ECM, purposes which were also lacking. In the MK1A variant, the issues with RWR and CMDS have been cleared, and a potted active jammer will be fitted to meet the IFCCM requirements. Furthermore, the MK1A variant will feature the indigenously built autumn active electronically scanned array radar that can track 50 targets in the sky at a range of more than 100 kilometers and engage about four of them at the same time, as per the claims by Defense Research and Development Organization. Although the first 16 TAYAS MK1As will be equipped with Israeli Elm 2052 ESA radars, the rest will have the indigenous radars. Regarding armaments, the MK-1's weapons package included the Vimpel R-73 short-range missile with infrared homing, and the Israeli-made Derby Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles BVR -OM, from Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The R-73 has a range of 40 kilometers, whereas the Derby is a short-to-medium BVR missile with a range of 50 kilometers. The new TAYAS MK-1A can also be armed with the indigenously manufactured advanced short-range air-to-air missile, ASRAM, which has a range of 25 kilometers, and the indigenously developed Astra BVR missile, with a range of 80 to 110 kilometers. It can travel at 4.5 Mach speed. HAL is also working on another upgraded aircraft variant, the TAYAS MK2, which is expected to begin flights by 2023. The MK2 will be a medium weight fighter, MWF, with an enlarged airframe and increased maximum takeoff weight of 17,500 kg, up from the LCA's 13,500 kg. The aircraft will have a longer fuselage that will allow more fuel storage. Also, the TAYAS MK2 will be powered by an upgraded General Electric GE F414 INS6 engine, which is more potent than the GE F404 that power the MK1 and MK1A variants. The MK2 will also have a larger weapons payload capacity of 6.5 tons compared to the roughly 4.35 tons payload capacity of the MK1 and MK1A.